friends, welcome back to Healthy Grocery Girl. Today I'm sharing with you five smoothie hacks with vegetables. I love to drink lots of smoothies. I like a smoothie for breakfast, even another smoothie throughout the day as a snack. And we all know that it's important to eat lots of vegetables. And one of my favorite ways to get in more greens is to add them into your smoothie. And so today I'm sharing with you five really easy ways that you can prep veggies and you can add them into your smoothies. And I promise you, if you add little bits, you're not even gonna know that they're there and you're not even gonna taste it. So you guys excited for this? Are you ready? Here are my five smoothie hacks to eat more veggies. Hack number one, first I love freezing broccoli for smoothies. I like to wash and then chop the broccoli florets and also the stem. There is so much good nutrition in the broccoli stem in addition to the florets. This is also a really good way to avoid food waste and you can just toss both into your smoothie and you won't even know that they're there. Then I add the broccoli into a baggie and make sure all of the air has been removed and I zip it up and then place it in the freezer overnight and in the morning I just add them into my smoothie. If you have a plastic free bag that you prefer to use, that is also great. Broccoli is a powerhouse. It is a cruciferous vegetable and contains nutrients such as potassium, calcium, vitamin C, as well as fiber and antioxidants. Veggie hack number two is freezing kale. You can always add fresh veggies to a smoothie, yet sometimes produce can go bad and start to wilt before you get around to using it. So if you have extra kale, you can freeze it by zipping the kale leaves off of the vine or the stem, which is what I've done here. Then I tear or break up the kale leaves into little pieces, add them into a baggie, make sure all of the air is removed, and place in the freezer. Kale contains vitamin C, calcium, iron, fiber, and is loaded with antioxidants. As you can see, the kale doesn't turn into one giant frozen piece, but you can actually easily break off the pieces and add into your smoothie. Hack number three, I love to freeze cauliflower. I first wash and then remove the leaves and chop off the stem. You can also chop up the stem and freeze as well like we did with the broccoli. Then I chop the cauliflower roughly into pieces and freeze. Cauliflower is packed with antioxidants, fiber, vitamin C, and also contains choline, a B vitamin that plays an important role in brain health. Hack number four, zucchini is one of my favorite vegetables to freeze because frozen zucchinis help add a creamy texture to smoothies. I wash and slice the zucchini into rounds and then again place in the freezer. Zucchini contains potassium and magnesium, which may help reduce blood pressure. It also contains vitamin C, an antioxidant that supports immune health. Hack number five, save the herbs. Do you ever buy fresh herbs and then they wilt before you can even use them all? I love to make lemon herb ice cubes to prevent food waste. They are a nutritional boost from traditional ice cubes and they're great to toss in smoothies or even in soups. Did you know that lemons increase peristalsis in the bowels? So they are great for helping keep you regular. And lemons also contain potassium and vitamin C. Cilantro has powerful cleansing properties such as helping to remove heavy metals and toxins from the body. So these are my five smoothie hacks with vegetables and I hope you guys are excited about them and you will give them a try. And let me know in the comments your favorite smoothie ingredients. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys are really excited to give these smoothie hacks a try. Let me know in the comments if you already do these or maybe if you have some other smoothie hacks that you wanna share with us. For more information on today's video, you can always head on over to our website, healthygrocerygirl.com. Thank you for watching. Thanks for giving this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. We love you. We hope you're having a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next video.